All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can warp the minds of young readers by giving them constant comic book illustrations of incredibly busty women in incredibly skimpy outfits. It's Comic Book Tycoon. This also has the most gangster level title screen of any game I've ever seen. Let's make the most screwed up comics in the entire universe. More fun up youths, damn it. I guess you gotta come up with a company name first. You got Marvel, you got DC. There's the X-Men, but uh, hold on here. See, this is the XXX people. We're not discriminatory here on which gender we over-sexualize. I don't really have a great name lined up, so our name is gonna be Earl Thick Taco. What does this mean? I have to either pick an artist or a writer? I can only do one or the other? God, it's like I'm gonna be writing Shakespeare with scantily clad stick figures. Do I have to pick one of these? I guess I'll be a writer. What happens if I'm a writer with zero in writing? <laughs> Attitude nope. zero. I didn't really get to edit my character. I just got one randomly generated. So for some reason, I look like a corn dog inside of a brown suit. Before we begin to make stupid comics, we have to come up with a stupid character. Is there like a limit to what you're allowed to write for the description? I I want to die. Please, just let me die. I like how the description doesn't go down or anything like that. It's just one long line that you never get to read unless you want to hold down on the right button. All right, the world's had Goku before. Um, we're going to go with go Kane. Is there a limit to what I can pick for my age? He's 1,231 years old. go Kane is basically going to be like an anti-hero. You know how like a normal hero would tell you to drink your milk and stay in school and don't do drugs? He's doing all the opposite of that. He's like, drop out of school, start drinking Natty Light, and endorse teen pregnancy. go Kane needs no gender. What does story complexity mean? Is this like his backstory? Oh, his complexity is very, very high. Look at his name, for God's sakes. Persona. Naive heroic normal what is a normal persona go Kane, the normal anti-hero other with a 10 story complexity audience children this is clearly for children i'm actually afraid to see what the species are alien animal god human robot monster or superhero wait what why is superhero a species this isn't a species this is a character type i'm surprised it's not like species football player whatever i'm just gonna pick whatever doesn't make any sense the genre action adventure comedy drama horror romance oh ninjas are trending i'm going with comedy the past story tragic happy ambiguous sad or upbeat i'm surprised they don't have a normal for the backstory i'm gonna go with sad this is very very sad all right you need at least two characters because he needs some sort of nemesis busterella the mighty okay now the game has me wondering just how much can I type here? If Busterella could say something, she would say, please Jesus, don't let Gray do this. Someone stop him. Someone, anyone. Description, imagine Power Girl after inhaling five pounds of bath salts and maybe after a few pregnancies wait what the hell what if, what happens if you have a heroic villain why not she's gonna be an animal i don't even care anymore <laughs> obviously she's made for teen males a uh, horror and a uh, a nice happy backstory mostly happy because all the bad parts she's repressed with drugs and alcohol can you have a negative age <laughs> Oh, it's lock topic. You can unlock topics by using research points. Why does it not look like I have to use research points? Because I don't have any research points. Gotta use your folks points. What did I just unlock? I didn't even select a topic. I succeeded in unlocking nothing. So I just realized something. All these different topics are supposed to be sitting behind the amount of research points that you get so you can't just get them all right away but uh, you're allowed to bet zero research points or fucked points as they call them in order to attempt to unlock the topics it really just comes down to how many times you're willing to click and god damn it i'm willing to click a lot to get werewolves hell yes so i found the way to automatically succeed on every topic you pick a topic 
you go to select. But then while it's loading, you select again and again until this goes away. Boom, that's how you do it. I'm not stopping until I get my goddamn ninjas. There's so many different ways I've already found to break this game. Oh, the prison topic. One of my personal favorites, especially considering the characters we've made so far. There it is ninjas. All right, now that we've jerked that system around for a while, I think I'm going to allow Busterella to be the main person in this story, especially since she'll be fighting against her super nemesis as a fetus. Don't do drugs unless you're playing comic book tycoon. Then do all the drugs. All right, Eric, thick taco. Let's make history. Oh, Jesus Christ, because of the friggin' title I got, I can hardly see what the hell I'm doing. It's nice to see that my character still hasn't unpacked all the boxes that his mother threw on the floor after kicking him out of the house. I like how the story and the art are going up, but the characters are so awful that they're staying way down. Look at this guy over here, he's like, Jesus Christ, what am I writing? How many of these can I produce 25,000 copies? Yeah, produce them all. I hope this comic sells because if it doesn't, we're gonna go bankrupt really fast. The characters in this comic still suck. On the plus side, we're making records. The reviews are out on don't do drugs unless you're playing comic book tycoon, then do all the drugs. Got a 3.2. The writing is ass, but the uh, story focus is very high. It's considered to be worth it. XXX people launched a new comic based on, <laughs> I put her entire name in here. One word, outstanding. We've got 4,000 fans so far. These are 4,000 souls that are going to end up being horribly disappointed. Oh, we're making stacks up in here. Oh, this is interesting. Now when I type something in, it doesn't actually show up here. You're gonna have to take my word for it, but this is called Nude Lords of the clickbait this time we're going for teens ninjas are still trending so we're gonna go with a romance ninja story busterella is now going to be the love interest of cocaine i like how my title legitimately shows up now i just made forty thousand copies of this crap god i hope it sells because if it doesn't again we're gonna be out on the streets i like how the review is just okay <laughs> Fan opinion. Don't let this ruin comics to What? Did this fan just say that my comic is sh So, um, we just lost a lot of money. Boss, do something. Your bank account is in the red. The good news is your bank allowed you a credit of $200,000. Who's the boss? I'm the only member of this entire company. No one would ever want to work for me. I like how everyone thinks so highly of my company, even though I've lost all my money in the first 12 months. Congratulations, everyone. The expert reviews are out. It's fine. Oh, hey, Google Translate just gave me another fan opinion. They say it's excellent comic but not greatest of all time. It's rank number 15. I just have to kill 14 other people and this comic will be the best. Can I produce comics that I've already written? I've given up at this point. We have 16 grand in the bank. I'm calling this the porn mafia. The audience is gonna be children again. Oh, there's actually a mafia topic. Uh, yeah, let's go with drama mafia. All right, Dick Taco, don't screw this up for me. God, my art is always so bad in every single comic. People are probably like, is that a penis or a giraffe? Well, the review of the porn mafia is out. It's bad. I'm gonna call this one bikinis and hand sanitizer. The second I make a goddamn sports comic, prison starts trending. I'm gonna be in prison soon when I start boosting banks because I'm out of damn money. On a side note, apparently I draw a lot better when the potential for starving to death is on the table. I think I'm finally gonna kill cocaine off. STDs from space needs plenty of drama in it. As you can see, it needs plenty of story too. I don't know why my character is trying so hard with this. I feel like I've been selling a shit ton of these comics and I'm not making making any money. STDs from space. This is now my favorite comic. This is the type of fan I enjoy. A person who lacks the brain power to know any better. Boss, your bank account's in the red. I know, it's been in the red the whole gameplay. I just got another warning. I got another warning. What the hell? <laughs> Wow, my comics were so bad they just destroyed the entire Well, I legitimately just broke the game, motherfucker. Okay, we're back. I'm not done ruining childhoods until I turn a damn profit. Also, the game updated like 75 times after I crashed it, so that's gotta be a good sign. We need a hero that everyone can relate to. It's time for Power Girl's more realistic counterpart. Power... single... 
Mom. Oh, she needs a complex story. I just thought about it. We could make her her villain the husband she divorced. Persona. Where's tired of your sh- Nope. Uh, yeah, sure. Tough. Species. Mom. Actually, monster works too. This is definitely an adult female audience. She's a single mom that drinks Starbucks and beats ass. And she's all out of Starbucks due to social distancing. I'm gonna make her 40. Say hello to her arch nemesis, Sergeant Unemployment. Actually, this is getting good. We can make him a robot. He's like Skynet, but he sucked at his job of taking over the human race. You know you're bad at your job when you get let go by the species that you were supposed to be the overlord of. Oh, this is nice. Now there's no letters show up in the description. That's good. I think I typed in imagine Skynet, but incompetent. I'm not really sure. He's gonna be 20. Too. What do you want? Good for power single mom, right? You've heard of Wolverine. This story is called Wolverine. Oh, hell yeah. Look at these numbers. I'm not really sure what it means, but we gonna be eating good tonight, boys. What the hell is this alert? This didn't exist before. I'm gonna click on yes and hope it's the right answer. What? Holy Jesus, our art quality is through the roof. We went from stick figures to the mighty art of Thomas Kincaid. Except instead of beautiful landscape portraits, it's has been old divorced couples beating the hell out of one another. Having a publisher is amazing. All right, we're taking advantage of this. We're going all the way. Say hello to bikini armor, somewhat anime looking girl. Hell yeah, she's gonna be an anti-hero. She's gonna be like circa 2003 Avril Lavigne. She's gonna be 20, but she's still gonna go to bars because she's a bad girl. Why is my art so good? What did my guy finally decide to go to college? I love the review for superhero mud wrestling. It's just nice. The writing is ass, but the drawings of nudity are so high quality. <laughs> Childhood Ruined launched a new comic series based on Power Single Mom. This comic is not your ordinary comic. It has a great and deep <laughs> message. I'm glad someone thinks of my guy is like crying at his typewriter over here. It's like, what am I doing with my life? It's possible we can move to the bigger office. You're goddamn right I want to move to a bigger office. I've been stuck in my basement for years. My God, we're in the big leagues now. I got a water cooler and everything. I can finally hire an employee. Holy Carlos Sanders, you fabulous bastard. Carlos, join me. And together, we will ruin the lives of children across the globe. All right, Bikini Armor Girl has like a five-star rating. It's time for her origin story to come to fruition. At this point, we're, we're just going for copies sold, so I'm calling it topless crime fighting. Superhero mud wrestling just made us $200,000. Holy story! I never thought that topless crime fighting would be so deep. Time for the climax. It's like Hounds of the Baskervilles level of climax. You've heard of Colonel Sanders. Well, that bastard can move over for Carlos Sanders. This is one of the greatest comics ever. Of course, topless crime fighting. Why wouldn't it be one of the greatest comics ever? All right, monetization man, go. I like how I haven't even made a comic for monetization man and his popularity is already higher than everyone else. You can call childhood ruined whatever you want, but look at these story numbers. We're making like the Hamlet of the triple X comic world. Y'all ready to sell some damn comics? Childhood ruined launched a new comic series based on monetization, man. Almost all of the panels are great, and I felt nothing but sheer joy. Carlos, you keep this up, and I might actually buy you a plant for the office. If not, I'll probably chop you into pieces and sell you. All right, we're going with the Adpocalypse 3.0. It's a post-apocalyptic story. YouTube's gone to hell, and we're all screwed. All right, Bikini Armor Girl is going to be the love interest in this one. All right, a new villain is joining this. It's the abandoned child of power single mom. Some how they're an alien though. What do you want? Power single mom got around, okay? I love how this says you can only add a maximum of four characters, but if you just press create again, you can tell it to go to hell. Welcome to you are the father. It's like a space odyssey. Oh, we're gonna top the charts with this one. All right, power single mom, you've done well, but it's time for you to get canceled. The Jerry Springer of comics is bringing in like 200K right now. Come on, I want $1 million. What the hell happened to the art? Would you guys get a wrist cramp? You've heard of Eric the Red. This is Eric, the pink eye. He's actually very sweet. <laughs> Come on, boys, you're so close. You can finally retire after a million. It's called STD Wars, but this is actually a educational comic. People need to know about this stuff growing up. <laughs> Don't ask me how the hell this is a sports comic. Hallelujah. I'm not really sure how we did it. 
but we've got a five-star company. Carlos, congratulations. I'll be replacing all the water with vodka. Well, we did it. We made a million dollars ruining children's childhoods. How, I don't really know because the friggin' typewriter is way the hell over here. The economy's bad, so I'm laying everyone off. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Comic Book Tycoon. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.